it's back and welcome to the carriage house a place where you can find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home today i'm taking all of our christmas decorations down and doing a little cleaning so i'm a little sad but i know it's got to be done and with homeschool starting back up again next week i just want to be prepared and have a clean slate before the new year arrives but i hope you had a warm and cozy christmas all was was, was very good here there's also a winter storm that's supposed to be coming this afternoon. It hasn't begun yet, but I keep looking outside waiting, waiting for it to start snowing. So kind of excited about that. Just wanting to relax later, get all cozy after this is done and listen to the sounds of the storm. Although having the Christmas decorations up would have been perfect for this whole winter storm scene, but oh well. I am leaving some of my red and white type of Christmas decor out, which will be perfect for Valentine's Day, which I'll be decorating for that next week. And I'll also be doing a winter Valentine's giveaway, so that should be out next week as well. I was also in the mood just to wear loungy clothes today, so I hope you don't mind. I also wanted to thank Joixion for sponsoring today's video. They seem to reach out to us at the perfect timing because I needed these types of storage bins to put some of our Christmas decorations in, but they're fabric storage bins and I'm storing my Christmas pillows in here and this all seems to be working really well. Pillows are always kind of awkward to, to store, but we have, we have a lot of those soft ornaments too, so I'm going to put those in one of these as well and any of our Santas and gnomes that are soft and pillowy. But you can store blankets in here, clothes, seasonal coats, hats, gloves, things like that. And they're great to store under your bed too. They come in a pack of four and have lots of different colors to choose from. I chose the, um, the grayish gray color. I will leave their Amazon link down below and they're offering 40% off, so I will leave that coupon down below. But just gonna finish putting everything away here in our living room and then I'll move on to the dining room.
Okay, so still working in the living room. I did want to mention I didn't have anything to wrap some of our breakable ornaments in, so I used diapers. I did this last year, and it seemed to work pretty well. Now, I, I know not everyone has diapers laying around, but if you do and you don't have anything else to wrap a breakable Christmas decoration in, then it seems to fit the job pretty well. I also love using those Amazon gift bags to store things like twigs and holly and just those decorative stems and really just about anything. That way you can stay a little bit more organized when everything goes into that bigger box. The storm hasn't hit us yet, although I can tell it's very near just by the way the sky looks at the moment. I have this hutch here and a lot of this stuff I might just use for Valentine's Day. I have some red and white tea towels that I'm going to leave out and a few other things. I have a jar with white snow with a red ribbon that might be nice for Valentine's. And this buffet table here I already cleared off. It was our son's birthday the day after Christmas, so we celebrated his birthday. And I'll show, I'll show some footage of that here in a few minutes. But just going to do the same thing in here as I did in our living room and going to be on the lookout for that storm. Rising sun, 
So moving on to our kitchen now, the wind is starting to really pick up outside and it's beginning to snow. So on top of, of the snow that already came the other day, but this one is, is supposed to be more of a, a storm. So going to take it easy the rest of the way. Going to put some more relaxing type of music on and looking forward to relaxing at the end of this day. Everything we have and then 
So finally, I'm in the last room, which is our bedroom. I'm really going to miss having this room decorated for Christmas, especially with the wreaths being gone on the window. I guess I could consider being like one of those forever Christmas shops, the ones that you always see in the old type of historic downtown areas, but I'll try to make it up for Valentine's Day, especially since we're home more than ever now these days. I just want to make our room cozy. So going to put the last of the Christmas decor away, wipe down the nightstands, just do a quick vacuum, and I have a frozen marinara sauce with meatballs that I made on Christmas Eve that I'll probably heat up for dinner, so just gonna keep it simple tonight because I'm getting really tired but it's something cozy and comforting to eat on this cold winter's night.